Rashid Broadbell wins. Meanwhile, Michelle Clayton dominates the field in the women's 400 meter hurdles in Grand Bahama. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, the young lion continues to rise. Rashid Broadbell beat the reigning Olympic gold medalist, Jamaica's remarkable, very remarkable, Hansel Hartman, recently in Grand Bahamas at the New Life Invitational 2023 in the men's 110 meters hurdles. The young lion who started to really roar in the Diamond League season last year in 2022, referencing Rashid Broadbell, could be emerging as the next truly big thing in global men's 110 meter hurdles. Broadbell, whether or not you know it, is now ranked number four in the entire world and is the defending and currently reigning Commonwealth men's 110 meter hurdles champion. Hmm. Take a gander and tell us what you think. Rashid Broadbell won in a meet record time of 13.10 ahead of Eric Edwards of the United States who came th second in 13.42. Uh, Damien Thomas of Jamaica ran 13.52 to take that third position and Hansa Parchman came fourth in 13.65. Fair start. And we'll see how this race develops. Develops now. Hansel Parchment with the big frame has got some work to do because Rashid Broadbell is running well. And that is going to be... Rashid Broadbell expresses feelings in this interview. Lewis, I'm here with Rashid Broadbell and Rashid is representing Jamaica. Rashid, tell us, how did you feel about coming into the race? You executed very well from the start to the finish. So how do you feel? Um, I'm feeling good. Uh, I mean, um, a little miss up with the times. It was like, like 35 minutes behind, so I was ready for the time to run. So. You know, I was like, after the race, I just started feeling like I was just start running, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's part of the game, so you know, you just have to prepare for anything. So tell us, how did you enjoy Freeport Grand Bahama? It's You've been here before. No, no you weren't? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, it's, it's good, it's good, it's nice weather, you know. I mean, I know I've been here before, so first time experience is good, you know, so far. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so we're happy to have you here at the NACAC New Life Invitational. You're the winner, and we're excited for you. Congratulations, and we are waiting to see more from Rashid Broadbell in the 110 Hurdles. So congratulations to the rising lion, Rashid Broadbell, on his win. And meet record-setting 13.10 in the men's 110 meters hurdles ahead of his fellow Jamaicans, Hansel Parchment, who took the fourth position and Damian Thomas who came third now this remarkable young lady 400 meter hurdles sensation Rochelle Clayton Clayton was also another Jamaican standout winner at the recently held new life invitational 2023 which occurred in Grand Bahamas I thought this was a very dominant win she looked really really good Jamaica's Ardenet Knight took that third position with Rhonda White of Jamaica coming in fourth. In the end, the Nakat New Life Invitational Women's 400 meter hurdles finals was won by Jamaica's Rochelle Clayton in 54.41. Cassandra Tate of the United States running 54.68 take the second spot. Andrinette Knight of Jamaica 55.12 and Rhonda White of Jamaica 55.83 to take that fourth position hurdles and we'll watch to see what happens in this 400 meter hurdle Looking very good down the back stretch right now coming into view a segment of the hurdles and some of them have gone from 14 steps to now 15 your stride pattern and a length of legs but on the outside this is a nice maker looking strong see her arm movement high arms and keeping her knee lift strong and she'll cross the line first with a 
So congratulations to Jamaica's Rochelle Creighton on her win in the women's 400 meter hurdles at the Naked New Life Invitational 2023. Now in the 400 meters, it was Jamaica's Cherokee Young and Andrinette Knight, yes, the same Andrinette Knight from the women's 400 meter hurdles finals, who repped alongside Jamaica's Stacy Ann Williams in the 400 meters. The final result of the two timed finals, finals A and finals B, it was the Guyanese Aliyah Abrams who uh, not only broke the meet record but also broke Guyana's national record in the 400 meters with a time of, of, of 50.20 seconds. Uh, then Jamaica's Cherokee Young uh, came second in 50.45 and Cuba's Roxanne Gomez got the bronze medal third place uh, time of 51.01. And now the race begins. Making that final turn. Down by the water. Abrams looking very strong from Guyana. Coming up the home straight away. Lifting and looking very comfortable. Leah Abrams tying up a little bit, but keeping her form. And she crosses the line first. We'll wait on the time. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Jamaica's representation at the Nacket New Life Invitational 2023 was actually very solid. We had some pretty good wins there. Uh, we had already spoken about uh, Megan Tapple getting her first win in a previous video. You can go and check it or I'll leave a link down. Um, and I'm really, really impressed with this young man. I've been talking about him since last year. Uh, Rashid Broadbelt merely peaked at the wrong time last year. That's all that happened. He peaked afterward championships and if his team and his coaching staff does what i think they're going to do because he's not running as many races thus far this year they're trying to peak him for the right time and let's be honest regardless of the times that all anyone is running this is in general now not just to do it with rashid broadbell at this point in the year it's what happens at that country's national trials that's when you really have an idea as to what's going on if you're new to track and field i'm just teaching you this you really know what's happening with the athlete at the, at the country's national trials. That's really where, what, where, where this all truly begins. Because you want to start peaking at your national trials. It tends to be like a week or two before world championships. So regardless of all the amazing times that some people are running, and there are great times and it makes for great, great storytelling. The fact of the matter is, we will know what's happening with Hansel. We will know what's happening with Damien. We'll know what's happening with Rashid and all the other athletes regarding Jamaica at the national trials. That's really where they need to start peaking. And I didn't say peak because they need to actually peak at world championships. But that's when you get a real understanding of where they are at. And I know sometimes that might seem hard to believe because you have athletes running crazy times this early. And yes, we're going to talk about it because it's important. But the truth is, at, on a year like this, unless it's, it's, a, it's an Olympic year, the athletes, a pro athlete's real challenge is to peak for the major comp, comp, com, uh, competition, which this year is World Championships. So we're really going to know where all these athletes are at the national trials. That's just the truth. It's a great indicator to see where they're at now. And that's why sometimes when I say it's still relatively early, it's because it's actually still relatively early. It is really hard to tell where the athlete is at this point. You have indicators and Rashid Barbell looks great. Hans Parchment is a little concerning, but not concerning enough for you anyone to panic. So I just wanted to share that. Just remember that when you watch all of these races, the key for any pro athlete anywhere in the world is to start peaking at their country's national trials so that they can make the team so that they can get to the world championships or the olympic games and medal that's really what this is all about fundamentally now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button remember you are royals kings and queens bless up